Hey guys, it's Crazy Brow Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy Schleich halter for your Schleich models. So the things you're going to be needing is a really helpful little Schleich model here, and I'm using Neptune. Some uh, one eighth of an inch ribbon, some six millimeter jump rings, some scissors, pliers, and wire cutters. Nail clippers, some buckles, and you can order these off of Rio Rondo or another supplier, or you can make your own. I will be making a video on how to make your own shortly. Um, and of course, a hot glue gun. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is take a piece of ribbon and glue it onto a jump ring. And then, once that's glued on, you're going to measure it up against the horse's face to see how long it needs to be. And you're going to cut and glue both sides, and you have created your nose band. And again, you're going to try it on the horse and make sure it does cover his nose. And then you're going to take a piece of ribbon and glue it to this side of the jump ring, thread it through, and glue it to the other side. You'll end up with something that looks like this. This is a nice little nose band. And then you're going to take a piece of ribbon and do the loop on the nose band. Go ahead and glue that together and measure it up to the sides of the horse's face. So it should be about like that. And then you're going to snip it off and add a jump ring to that end as well. I already have this piece um, made here, so I'm going to show you with this. This comes in a later step, but you're going to leave it all up and then just snip it off. And then on the left side, you're going to add another longer piece of ribbon. And on the right side, you're going to thread it up through your buckle. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. I'm going to use this helpful little piece of ribbon here and grab one of my buckles. So you're going to thread it through your buckle, like so. You're going to thread it through the top, and then down through the bottom, and then you can simply glue it like that. And it's going to look a lot like that. Now that you've done that, and you've threaded your buckle through, and you've got that, you're going to want to take the end and measure it over and then you're just going to cut it into a blunt square and you're going to take your hot glue gun and put some hot glue just on the very end of the ribbon really soak it on both sides it'll look kind of like that and just leave it there until it's almost cool so yep nope that's still too hot and then you're going to grab it in both hands and pull it off. And I grabbed it too soon and I totally just burnt my finger, but that's okay. And then you're going to cut the ends into a little triangle type thing. By cutting off both ends, you're going to kind of turn it into a triangle. And what I did with the hot glue makes it less likely to fray, and it also just makes it look so much neater. So the end product is going to look just like this. And after you're done threading the, um, making your buckle and threading it through, you're going to want to take a piece of ribbon and thread it through down here, pull it under the chin, and glue it on the other side. And this is Hestia modeling a green halter that I've made. I do have, I do sell these, so private message me if you're interested, and also check us out on Instagram at Crazy Briar Girl.